Yes. In this video, I'll be looking at the third most dangerous, the desert fat tail, and also some lesser poisonous scorpions. These guys really are an evolutionary success. They've been around for over 350 million years. At one stage, scorpions were really huge. They were over two meters long. And the reason for this was because of the high oxygen content in the air, which allowed animals at that time to grow much larger than they are today. So let's have a look, first of all, at their senses. They have at least six eyes, but they can have as many as 12. Now you'd imagine with all these eyes, they would have brilliant vision, but in fact it's quite poor. Scorpions use other senses like bristly hairs, which are all over the body. These are very sensitive and pick up sound vibrations. On the underside, you can see the pectins, similar to a tooth comb. These are used to pick up tastes, smells and sounds from the ground, as well as chemical messages from other scorpions. And on to the venom. Looking at the scorpion's tail, you can see what could be called its bum. And what looks to be hanging on there is a stinger and venom glands. The stinger is hollow. The muscles in the glands pump to deliver as much venom as the scorpion wishes. Notice all the hairs. This is a very sensitive area. The venom is made up of proteins which are found in many plants and animals to fight infection. In scorpions, one little genetic mutation has turned these proteins into a poison. The fat tail, known as Androconus, which translates from the Greek to English as man killer, the sting contains a neurotoxin which can cause severe pain, breathing difficulties, even stop the heart. Even this young guy, just look at him compared to my thumbnail. He could be lethal. If a high enough dose is delivered, it can kill a man within one hour. You get an idea of how dangerous a scorpion is by the size of its claws. The smaller the claw, the more venom. The larger the claws, the less poison, as they can grab their prey and overpower it with brute force alone. Scorpions are nocturnal creatures. They're really hard to spot at nighttime unless you have one of these. And this is a UV light. So look, you see, they reflect ultraviolet light makes it really easy to find them. In the next episode, we'll be taking a close look at alligator snapping turtles.